Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike with Alpha Reptile back with another video today and today we are going to be checking out an update on probably the world's coolest frog at least top five, you know. A couple months ago, I was able to purchase some from one of my friends and now they are residing here, eating, growing, doing very well. So I figured let's give you guys an update today. Just before we get started on today's video, I did want to ask you guys, if you do like this sort of content and you wanna see more of it from me, make sure you click that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram, links here on the screen for you guys to check out. I post pretty much daily there and a lot of like new stuff goes there first and then on YouTube. So, <laughs> with that being said, you guys, let's go check out these really, really cool frogs. Alrighty, and here is their bin. I don't remember what size this guy is, but it's a good size bin. I think it's like a 10 gallon ish bin. Uh, you can see they're set up here, fully live planted. Uh, the female, or the, the bigger one, is going to be next to impossible to sh see. She's all the way down in between those leaf fronds. Uh, we'll see if maybe, there you go, you can kind of see her a little bit there. And then the smaller one, or the one that I think is a male, is right down there. So, if you guys don't know what these guys are, they are a fringed leaf frog. They are Cruzio hyla craspidopus. Uh, probably one of the coolest frogs in the world, like I said. But they're doing very, very well. These guys I've noticed are super, super nocturnal. Uh, I didn't know there was different grades of nocturnal, but I'm making them up now. These guys really do only come out when it's nighttime. Uh, during the day, they tend to just hide out, conserve moisture like this guy is now. At nighttime, that's when you hear them bounding around and checking out their enclosure, looking for crickets, that kind of deal. As you can see, I do have a water dish in there for them. I find the female sitting in there more often than I find the male in there. Uh, I'm just going to call them the male and the female right now. Yeah, plants wise, this thing is doing incredible. Um, I have two different species of Monstera in here. I have the Monstera Dunsoni or Dansoni, Adansoni, I don't know, whatever. And then I have the Monstera Dubai right down there. So. Hoping this guy catches on and starts growing nicely. Um, I just put him in there maybe a week and a half ago, something like that. The rest of this has been set up for, oh shoot, maybe a month or so? No, it's been more than that. I got him in like early or mid-September, so it's been a couple months since this has been set up. But this is a Hygrophila species. Um, there is an Apicia. There's a random philodendron that I can't remember the name of all the way down there. Um, it was actually dead. I had it in that tank over there and it was actually pretty much dead. But uh, I put it in here, really high humidity, relatively low circulation and it's actually doing really, really well. Uh, the other one that I have in here is the Begonia Metallica. That big guy right there. Those leaves get absolutely gigantic. Uh, most of these I will have to trim and take cuttings of and actually maintain this bin, but as of right now, I'm basically just trying to make it look like a jungle for them. And here's the little guy. I managed to get the male out. The female wasn't quite having it, but this guy, as you can see, I mean, how can you not love this frog? Got gloves on just to protect the frog from my oils or anything like that. It's hard to beat something that awesome. So as you can see, this is a incredibly beautiful frog. These guys are found in the lowlands of Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, and even throughout Peru. These guys are found very frequently in the high elevation of the rainforest, like they're up in the canopy of the rainforest. They come down occasionally to breed as well as at nighttime, they'll be hunting down towards the ground, but for the most part, you'll find these guys well above 10, 15 meters in the canopy. So you don't see them too often. They're quite rare to find in the wild. They're definitely a very rare frog in the pet trade. Uh, they're very, very infrequently uh, bred, as well as brought in through either wild capture or bred in C2 and then 
shipped out of the country. Fortunately, these guys are a relatively low concern on the, I guess, IUCN red list, but unfortunately, these little cute frogs here are definitely of habitat risk. A lot of habitat destruction due to agriculture, things like palm oil, sorghum, or sorghum, I think it's called. A lot of the rainforest is being replaced by crop growth and different industry products that are used throughout the industry of humanity and uh, yeah I'm not gonna keep this guy out too too much longer it's not very humid out here so this is just a quick update on the frogs as you can see they're doing very very well uh, they're so cool these guys are definitely the coolest frog I ever had they're probably top 10 for coolest in the world, I would say. Maybe even top five. I encourage you guys to leave me your favorite frogs in the comments down below, or what your favorite frog that you own is in the comments down below. Alrighty, and that does it for the video, guys. I know it's kind of a short one. I just needed to get a quick video out to you guys. I wanted to do an update on these incredible frogs that you just saw, the Cruziohyla craspidopus, or the fringed leaf frog. Um, they're part of the Phyllomedusinae family, and they are a very, very cool frog. So, if you guys are interested in keeping them, I definitely wouldn't recommend them as a beginner species, but if you have taken care of things like dart frogs, or even like red-eyed tree frogs, and other things like that, then these guys would probably be a good addition. They do get quite a large size. Those guys are still just juveniles. Uh, they were only brought in in like June, and they were just babies in June. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash that like button if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that leave them in the comment section down below remember if you guys are looking for me to make a video on a certain topic definitely let me know in the comments because I'm going to try and do vlogmas so basically post a video every single day up until Christmas. I don't think I'll make it the whole way, but I'm gonna definitely try and pump out a bunch of content for you guys in December. So I wanna thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more of my reptile craziness here, definitely click that subscribe button, as well as play Ding Dong Ditch with the doorbell next to it. That way you get notified every single time I post a video. Videos come out every Tuesday and Friday. I might change it to Monday and Friday, I haven't decided yet, but let me know in the comments down below what you think of that. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on Friday. Later.